I've come down to the boat today and I'm going to uh, upholster all the, uh, the cushions. Uh, I've, uh, I've been, there's a few splits, splits in them. Uh, just, I think they're 25 years old and they've had, had their day, so I've uh, bit the bullet and I'm going to, I've got a sewing machine, I've bought some upholstered, some uh, fabric. I'm going to have a crack at making them myself since I can't afford to, to uh, buy any. The boat's in quite a lot of disarray, but uh, I'm not going sailing till I've got the cushions uh, done now because I've uh, I pulled half of them out and I've uh, reupholstered those. That's the ones that uh, basically I started off with a quarter berth put cushions there because no, you don't really see those. So I thought they could be my practice ones and they turned out fairly good. Already made all the ones at the front. Had quite a few viewers ask me uh, how many batteries I've got on board. Well, I've got a starting battery, which is the first one in there. The second one is a 80 amp hour deep cycle battery, AGM, and I've got one more in there just behind the engine there, which is another uh, 80 amp deep cycle battery as well. Over here in that sail bag underneath the uh, quarter berth here is the uh, storm jib and storm trisail. Bulkhead at the back there is the uh, is the electrics for the uh, where all the uh, the junction box for all the solar panels, and above that is a, uh, a photoelectric cell which uh, puts a light on the anchor light on when I'm not on board the boat. Because in the river here, I've got to have a anchor light on at night, even on the mooring. That's all my stuff for the engine in there. Just a gravel box there with all the aerosols and everything. Generally, I'm pretty lazy and all of a sudden I don't, I shut the thing up and one of the aerosols goes off and it's all in the bottom there. But uh, anyway, I should learn my lesson by now and put tops on things, but I haven't. Well, there's a big rain cloud coming, so I thought I'd don't like too many trips, so I've got one more trip to go, so got that many on anyway. Haven't done a bad job. Survived getting them ashore. I've been thinking about doing the poultry on the boat for uh, probably about two years anyway. I've uh, been looking, thinking, uh, getting you know seriously down to it, and a friend uh, lent me a Singer sewing machine. And I've been looking for uh, material everywhere, and I managed to get enough material to uh, do the boat in uh, this material here for $50 for uh, 15 meters. Absolute bargain. So that got me into uh, starting the project off once I got the material. I've been unpicking them, which uh, takes a bit of time. And uh, why I'm uh, unpicking them, I'm uh, watching on YouTube a new channel I found called Cruising the Cup. And it's a uh, guy in England going down the canals on a canal boat. Anyway, I've got to turn these over, pull all the buttons off, and start uh, unpicking everything so I've got some templates. And when I've got that done, I'll uh, anyway, then you pull the button out. I've got to make two hundred buttons. recover them like this.
you know, I'm unpicking them in order that I can obviously use these backs again. I don't want to waste them. And uh, then I can make templates of the cushions. Because the cushions are pretty good. They made, you know, like made these made a good job of them. So I'm just going to use that the cushions, uh, the old cushions of the templates to make the new ones. Just spotted as I went past this Grade 2 listed World War II pillbox. And these are the visitor moorings where I'll pull in and phone some local friends to see if they're coming to visit. Turns out my friends can't make it today. But we have a plan B involving them turning up at Norbury Junction a few miles further on in a couple of days. Well, I've got to make about 200 buttons, so there's no other way to do it that, that I know of than the, the, this is the best way i found to make them.
and there you have it, one cushion with uh, no buttons yet and not tacked off at the back. But uh, I'll leave them like this and you know, do that stage as, as one at the end. I've been going about two weeks on these cushions and uh, I've nearly got to the end of it. I am uh, replacing, it's called wadding uh, on them, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, it, I, I, I'm gonna put, I, I go to a place called Sale Right and they say bung new wadding on, so bung new wadding is what I'm doing, so there's the wadding. Now I've got to use the spray gun and just uh, spray the contact adhesive on. It's going to be a bit noisy this process, but uh, we'll get there. This is my last... <laughs> Line, you just uh, just leave them by that far, by you know about, uh, about a hundred mil past, and it still works. I found anyway. They wanted 150 or something on sale, right? But it seems to work for me with just a bin line. And now I start to vacuum up. Dyson I have, you know, but uh, any old vacuum will do. Put that against the foam, like that, start it up. Stage, you uh, get your hand in here, you 
just start ripping it in the corners. Okay. As close as you can to the edge, to be honest. Because you've got the uh, the wadding goes round like this, you always want to start, I reckon, from the uh, top, and then when you pull on this, you're straightening the wadding out if there is a if there is a problem. You pull it over the corners. one that goes by the centre ball case at the back. I'm not going to put the buttons on again, I don't think. Looks pretty good without the buttons. My last cushion. I, uh, this was the first one I made, and it's the last to uh, get tacked down to the plywood. steel staples uh, for fit me guns so I have to use uh, steel ones on the end. But this is my uh, first cushion I uh, sewed and the last cu cushion I stapled and uh, it's not bad. This one goes right down the quarter berth but uh, it's as good as any of the others I made. Uh, so I'm very happy. I've uh, finished this project. Uh, it's taken me just over two weeks. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the uh, result. I'm ferrying them out to the boat, but taking a few less each time. Uh, the boat's out there. I've already taken uh, four, four or five cushions. I thought, well, I'll just take a few on my way out and then I'll bring the boat in, but uh, I can uh, manage to get them out without getting them wet, so I'm going to just bury them in the dinghy. This is the cushions in the dinette area. Look pretty good to me. And that's it with the toweling cover on. That's the quarter berth. Really nice. Here's the double berth at the front of the boat. And it's got my uh, Genoa poked up the front at the moment. And there it is with the uh, front cushion pushed forward. Ta a fitted toweling cover for both sides. Uh, then just have towels down. And uh, the reason is, is that uh, when you go sailing, you always come downstairs and you know when you had spray on the deck and everything you always got salt on your uh, on your sh back of your shorts and your legs so this just keeps the uh, the salt on the off the cushions and it just uh, goes on there and when you get somewhere after uh, uh, three or four weeks of sailing you just un take them off and put them in the laundry at the marina and uh, they're good to go again if you don't and you just go and sit on your uh, cushions you go and you have a big rainy spell somewhere on the in the tropics and they just go absolutely to just never dry out they're just full of salt and they just they're terrible so i uh very proud of my uh, efforts on making these things they uh cost me i uh, just go through the cost of it i uh when i first started this project i was looking for 
think, oh, I want to do these cushions, you know, but you think, oh, they're expensive, they're going to be expensive, materials are expensive, you know, everything I looked at was about, you know, nice uh, Warwick fabric was about, you know, 60 bucks a metre, and I thought, oh, you know, anyway. I just happened to look on Facebook Marketplace and there was this fabric. I thought, that looks all right. Anyway, so I rang this lady up, she said, oh, I've got this fabric, yeah, I, it was for $50 for 15 metres. I thought, oh, there must be something wrong with it. So I said to my wife, oh, let's just go down the car and have a look. So we went down and had a look at this fabric. And I thought, no, that, that'll do the boat. That's great. Brilliant. OK, well, bought, bought that. The sewing machine was the next thing I needed. And uh, I looked on Facebook Marketplace at the price of sewing machines, and they all fetched between 400 and 600 for a nice industrial sewing machine. You know, old, but going. But I don't really know much about sewing machines. And uh, I had a friend called Keith Jessup, and he had a uh, industrial sewing machine. He said, oh, do you want to use mine? So I said, yeah, OK. So he uh, brought it round on a trailer to my house and uh, said, all you need to do is go and buy some oil for it and I'll show you how to thread it. And uh, good luck. So I, I uh, practiced for a couple of days and managed to tame the beast and uh, started to uh, make the cushions. I first started off with the ones at the back of the boat, which you don't see, which turned out to be nearly the best, actually. And uh, then I managed to get the rest of them done, and the project took me around about three weeks. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, one other person actually, which was Jeff Reichel, who uh, lent me a hot knife. Which, uh, when you cut the fabric, because it's uh, it's synthetic or whatever, it burns, and uh, you don't get any frayed ed edges. So if you want to uh, unzip the uh, covers or unpick them and put them in a uh, front load of washing machine on gentle uh, wash you know you can uh, wash your uh, you know, wash your fabric again and restaple it round and you'll uh, you know it'll be as good as new again and uh, the cost of the job well the fabric was $50 I had to uh, from Facebook marketplace I got some MDF from Facebook marketplace as well that was $10 to make me cutting table and then there was uh, the wadding, $40, and then you needed glue. To... And then there was, uh, I bought the, uh, some thread, which you know, you get a, a big thread, as like on the uh, sewing machine, which cost me $40 from Newland. And there were, otherwise, I bought a bit of haberdashery, $20, and that was basically it. So the whole, uh, my whole material costs, came to $220, which for, you know, what I got, you know, these lovely cushions, I thought was, you know, my wife reckons was, you know, is very happy. And I'd like to thank Doreen as well, because when I took this project on, it was like in the garage and she never saw me for basically three weeks. And, uh, you know, Saturdays and Sundays, I was still out there and uh, every evening I had to knock a few buttons out. So I've got 200 buttons. I'm not putting on yet because they look good without the buttons, but I think in time it might stretch. We'll see, and uh, it might need buttons in it. But I think it looks more modern without the buttons, to be honest. And I'll see you on my next leg, which will be in a couple of weeks' time, my, uh, or three weeks, my wife finishes work, and she would like to go to Curran Cove, where we can go for a swim. And I think it'd be great. You know, we'll go down there and go swimming each day and walking.